One month ago, 300 athletes packed their bags and left their respective schools to come to Cape Cod, Massachusetts to play for the best summer league in the country, an opportunity of a lifetime. 30 of those 300 found themselves right here in Katuit in a Cuddleers jersey. 40 games in eight weeks, these guys have worked tirelessly day in and day out to perfect their craft and show scouts what they're made of, all while chasing an 18th league championship. Their hard work has not gone unnoticed. Despite not having an all-star game this year, the league felt it important to recognize standouts from each team. What exactly does it mean to be an all-star on the Cape? Let's put this in perspective. Over 300 Cape Cod Baseball League alumni are active major leaguers right now, and over 1,200 have played in the major leagues all time. Only the best come to play on the Cape. With that being said, let's introduce your 2021 All-Stars. Rising junior out of Coastal Carolina University, middle infielder Eric Brown. What did we say at the top of the broadcast? This team is going to jump all over fastballs. If you start letting these guys barrel up baseballs, it's going to be a long day. What was your first perception of the Cape Cod League? And now that we're halfway through the season, have your perceptions changed any? Uh, my first perception of I'm coming to the league full of the best players. So it's like I have to bring my A game. And at first I was like, do I belong? And then after, after as the season went on, I thought I was like, all right, I definitely belong, and I'm I'm putting up numbers, and I'm I'm hanging with the best of the best. So, it's a fun league, and it's very competitive. So I'm I'm excited to be here. You went through a bit of a slump in the box here recently. Talk me through your mindset when you feel like you're struggling a little bit. Uh, I w I really wouldn't call it a slump. I don't ever think you're going through a slump. I th I feel like it's all mental. So if you just keep a positive mindset and you continue to put good at bats, and I felt like. Through the 0 for 17 I had, I mean, I, I feel like I barreled some balls up and I hit line drives and they just went right to people. So, I mean, it's not really a slump if you if you feel like the process is right. The result doesn't come out always as you want it, but if your process is right, then you're doing right. You've been an everyday starter since opening day. Coach Roberts describes you as a leader on and off the field. Aside from being a good player, how important is it to you to be a good teammate? Being a good team, uh, teammate is huge for everybody. I mean. If the team gels well together, the team will be very successful. So being a leader on and off the field, I feel like you have to lead by example and not just by voice. So I, I, I believe that if I just do the right things on and off the field, that it will help the team become more successful. You've said before that when you were younger, you were the invisible kid. You're definitely not invisible anymore. How special has your transformation been from someone that was often overlooked to now considered one of the nation's best? I mean, like you said, I was uh, considered an invisible kid. So, I mean, I, I can't take all the credit, first of all. Credit goes to the guy above. And then, I mean, I have plenty of people in my life, considering my dad, my family, and uh, one of my hitting coaches and fielding coaches, Eddie Fitzpatrick. So, I mean, I, there's a list of people that I can go down of that ha who have helped me break out of this shell. I mean, I feel like I've always been in the shadow. I mean, coming out here, Coach Roberts, he's been a great – He's been a great influence on me, and he's taught me a bunch with base running, hitting, fielding. So I, I can't take all the credit. I mean, I'm, I'm just a kid that goes out there and plays, but there's been a bunch of people that have helped me come out of the shell. Rising junior out of Boston College, second baseman, Luke Gold. He's got a homer this time. How good does it feel to call that one, Chris? That was a no-doubter, and it just furthers your point, right? Every time Luke Gold steps up to the plate and makes solid contact, it feels like the ball is going to jump out into the bullpen. That's exactly what happened. Luke, your father played baseball in college, so I know you two probably connect strongly through baseball. What does he think about his son playing for the best summer league in the country? You know, he's really happy about it. Um, it's, it's a great honor to play in this league with all the great players that are in here, this league now and all the big leaguers that have played here in the past, all the guys that played in Katuit especially. Um, you know, he's really happy for me, and he's just really glad I have this opportunity to play in such a special 
and uh, really highly competitive league. You currently lead the team in RBIs, runs, and home runs. You're literally known as Katuit's golden boy. What have you done to achieve this level of, of success? Yeah, I'm just trying to go up there and have good at bats for the team, whether it's, you know, I got to get a sack fly or I got to come up with a base hit to get the inning started. I'm just trying to do what the team needs me to do and just every day prepare and try to go in every game mentally and physically ready so that I can, you know, perform to the best of my ability. All right, as best as you can, describe to me the feeling when the ball leaves your bat and you know that it's gone. That's a really good feeling. You know, with a wood bat, you don't really feel it if you're right in the sweet spot. So, you know, when I'm when I get a pitch that I can really, you know, crush and get right in the sweet spot, it's it's a really good feeling. Everyone had their own ideas of what they wanted to accomplish coming into this summer season. Do you feel like you're leaving the Cape the same player that you came into? Yeah, you know, I feel like with the coaches we have, Coach Roberts and the other assistants, they're always available um, to do extra work, and they have so much knowledge um, in the game, and I feel like they've really been able to help me in areas of, of some weakness of mine, um, some hitting things, some things on defense. I'm able to get a ton of extra reps, and they've always been there for me and give me a ton of opportunities to help improve my game every single day. Rising sophomore out of UCLA, right-handed pitcher Jake Brooks. Cali boy meets Cape Cod, Massachusetts. What were your first thoughts when you knew you were coming to play for Katuit? I mean, I think it was just a really good opportunity from um, being a freshman, just finishing my true freshman year, uh, and having the opportunity to come out and play for the Katuit Kettleers in the Cape Cod Baseball League, which is one of the best or the best wood bat uh, leagues in the country for college baseball players. So I just think it was a great honor coming out of my freshman year. Coming into the summer, what were some specific things you wanted to improve on on the mound, and do you feel like you've done that? One thing that we really um, hone in on at school at UCLA is to uh, have pitchability. And um, so with that, I have a three-pitch mix, and I just really wanted to be able to control all three of those pitches for strikes whenever and whenever I wanted. I've seen your mom in the stands at just about every game. In fact, I even got to interview her before I interviewed you. Uh, she's so proud of you. How special has it been to have her here all the way from California? I mean, it's it's always great having family, being across the country, being so far away from home. I think it's just nice to have them out here just for the support. I mean, uh, two of my family friends came out here too, and my aunt and uncle have been out here. So I've had a lot of, lot of support out here to get me through this long summer. And... Um, she was also really pumped on that interview. She loved, she was talking about that interview for days. <laughs> <laughs> for a little while, you led the league in ERA. You went 25 innings with only two walks. As Coach Robert said, that's good for a senior, and you're only a freshman. Has it hit you that you're just getting started? Um, it has, especially after this All-Star announcement was announced, and uh, I did get on the All-Star team. It really has hit me, and one of the things that we do, again, at UCLA hone in on is um, – pounding the strike zone and just me being able to come out here and throw strikes and not have two and only have two walks through 25 innings is um, not important to only me and just going into UCLA with that confidence. Only the best come to play on the Cape. As an all-star you're considered the best of the best. Describe to me that feeling in one word. Special. Blessed. Honored.